The New Kid on the Block, Poems by Jack Prilecki. Hi, I'm Jack Prilecki. Welcome to Living Books. I wrote the poems in The New Kid on the Block. Though I'm usually a poet, today I'll be your guide. To pick a poem, click on the arrows till you find one you'd like to hear. To have a poem read to you, click Read to Me. Okay. When Tilly ate the chili, she erupted from her seat. <gasps> she gulped a quart of water and fled screaming down the street. <coughs> she coughed. <laughs> she wheezed. <coughs> She sputtered. <laughs> she ran totally amok. <laughs> she set a new world record as she raced around the block. Tilly's mouth was full of fire. <laughs> Tilly's eyes were red with tears. <laughs> she was smoking from her nostrils. She was steaming from her ears. She cooled off an hour later, showing perfect self-control, as she said, What tasty chili! I should like another bowl. My baby brother is so small. He hasn't even learned to crawl. He's only been around a week. And all he seems to do is ball and wiggle. Sleep. And leak. There's a new kid on the block. And boy, that kid is tough. That new kid punches hard. That new kid plays real rough. <coughs> that new kid's big and strong. With muscles everywhere. That new kid tweaked my arm. Ow! That new kid pulled my hair. <coughs> that new kid likes to fight. <coughs> and picks on all the guys. That new kid scares me some. That new kid's twice my size. That new kid stomped my toes. That new kid swiped my ball. <laughs> that new kid's really bad. I don't care for her at all. <laughs> My dog. He is an ugly dog. He's put together wrong. His legs are much too short for him. His ears are much too long. My dog. He is a scruffy dog. He's missing clumps of hair. His face is quite ridiculous. Ah. His tail is scarcely there. <laughs> My dog, he is a dingy dog. His fur is full of fleas. He 
He sometimes smells like dirty socks. He sometimes smells like cheese. My dog, he's a noisy dog. He's hardly ever still. He barks at almost anything. His voice is loud and shrill. My dog, he's a stupid dog. His mind is slow and thick. He's never learned to catch a ball. He cannot fetch a stick. My dog, he's a greedy dog. He eats enough for three. His belly bulges to the ground. He is the dog for me. My brother's head should be replaced. It's lighter than a feather. He's trying to use tomato paste. To paste tomatoes together. When Dracula went to the blood bank, he thoroughly flustered the staff, for rather than make a donation, he drew out a pint and a half. Yummy! Farming bananas in bright yellow slippery skins. Our features are rather appealing, though we've neither shoulders nor chins. We cha cha, fandango, and tango. We kick and we skip and we hop. While half of us spelt out a ballad, the rest of us spin like a top. We're forty performing bananas. We mumble, we samba, we waltz, we dangle and swing from the ceiling, then turn very slick somersaults. People drive here in bunches to see us, our splits earn us worldly renown. We're 40 performing bananas, come see us when you are in town. Hombre! Its fangs were red with bloody gore. Its eyes were red with menace. It battered down my bedroom door and burst across my bedroom floor. And with a loud resounding roar, said, Anyone more tennis? Oh, Mabel. Remarkable Mabel. Your dining demeanor is queer. You eat with your feet on the table while a teaspoon sticks out of your ear. Your mouth opens wide and then wider as you shovel six hamburgers in. Your elbows are dripping with cider. <laughs> There is mustard all over your chin. In your lap lies a lump of linguine. Mm. Your toes cling to slices of bread. Your knees balance pounds of zucchini. There's a pudding on top of your head. Your nose is spread thickly with butter. 
Your shoulders hold pickles in brine. Oh, Mabel, you may make me mutter, but it's wonderful watching you dine. <laughs>
Oh, homework! You're last on my list. I simply can't see why you even exist. If you just disappeared, it would tickle me pink. Homework. Oh, homework. I hate you. You stink. Yeah. The diatonic ditty munch <laughs> plucked music from the air. It swallowed scores of symphonies and still had space to spare. Sonatas and cantatas slithered sweetly down its throat. It made ballads into salads and consumed them note by note. It ate marches and mazurkas. It ate rhapsodies and real <laughs> minuets and tarantellas were the staples of its meals. But the diatonic ditty munch outdid itself one day. It ate a three-act opera and loudly passed away. <laughs> Owen Ounce and Owen Bounce fell off a speeding train. Both were rather fortunate and lived to fall again. Owen Bounce, who weighed an ounce, was cushioned by soft shrubbery. Owen Ounce just bounced and bounced. For he was round and rubbery. My sister is a sissy. She's afraid of dogs and cats. A toad can give her tantrums. <laughs> and she's terrified of rats. She screams at things with stingers, things that buzz, and things that crawl. Just the shadow of a spider sends my sister up the wall. A lizard makes her shiver. And a turtle makes her squirm. <laughs> she positively cringes at the prospect of a worm. She's afraid of things with feathers. She's afraid of things with fur. She's scared of almost everything. How come I'm scared of her? The bloaters are exploding! They are bursting left and right! Like vials of nitroglycerin or sticks of dynamite. They are going up like rockets! Lift off! They are popping here and there! The sky is filled with bloaters, detonating in the air. There is a simple explanation for this odd catastrophe. You're bound to go to pieces 
when you dine on TNT.